WJZ's live complete coverage continues now. Marcus Washington, live in West Baltimore, where Freddie Gray lived and was arrested. He has been speaking to members of the community there. Marcus. Well, Vic, we talked to a lot of people throughout the day, and many people all had one statement saying that I am not shocked, but I am disappointed. The verdict in the case of Lieutenant Brian Rice quickly spread throughout Penn North community, but many say it's nothing new for the officer trials connected to the death of Freddie Gray after his arrest just blocks away. I knew it was going to be not guilty. When the charges came out, I already knew it was going to be not guilty. The same verdict, but a different officer and a different reaction from this community. North Avenue is not as crowded as it was when we were getting the first trial and the second trial. And it was full of people because people wanted to know people was upset and everything. And now it seems like it's the norm. This is the fourth time many people have anxiously awaited a verdict for an officer charged in connection to the death of Freddie Gray. Three acquittals and one mistrial. Congressman Elijah Cummings at Penn North after the verdict is read, met by many people wondering what now. When you ask for justice, you cannot guarantee results. It is a process. And you may not always like the results. In all of this, at least there was some accountability to some of this. At least somebody had to at least stand trial for this because it couldn't keep on going as it was status quo. The wait for the remaining trials is met with optimistic views about what will happen, but many say they have accepted what reality may bring. Not guilty, not guilty, not guilty. The norm. Now, Congressman Cummings says we have come far with these trials. He says that less than 2% of officers actually are charged when they are faced with the connection of someone's death while on duty. Reporting live tonight at Penn North, I'm Marcus Washington. Back to you. All right, thank you very much, Marcus.